everyone and welcome to our live quiz. My name is Emma and I'm from Mentimeter and I will be hosting today's quiz. I would love for you to join the quiz and join our presentation by going to menti.com and using the code 788052. Once you're in, let me know by pressing the heart on the screen and we'll get started in a few minutes. And if you're just joining us now, thanks so much for joining and welcome to this Mentimeter Live quiz. To participate in the quiz, go to menti.com, enter the code 788052. And once you're in, click on the heart to let me know that you're here. And here are the voting instructions in case you need a little bit more extra help and we'll get started in a couple of minutes. So go to menti.com, and use the code 788052 to join the quiz. Let's see how many people are joining. Awesome, I see 43 hearts. So we have a lot of people joining us today, 44. Awesome. Today's quiz is going to be about food and drinks. So I hope you're ready. So before we get started, once again, the code is 788052 to join the quiz. So let's get started. On this page, you will see that you're, you've been assigned an avatar. Feel free to add a nickname, and if you don't, don't worry. Uh, an automatic one will be assigned to you. Awesome, so many people joining. That's so cool to see. If you've just joined us and you haven't already joined, go to menti.com and use the code 7852. I'm just gonna move the plant over a little bit so we can see how many join us. Let's see, 57 people joining. Great, I'll give you a couple more minutes to make sure everyone gets in. So to join the quiz, use your smartphone or open up a new browser tab and go to menti.com and use the code 788052. And add a nickname to your avatar or if not, an automatic one will be assigned to you. So, let's get started with the quiz. So, l answer fast to get more points. It will be a multiple choice question. And the question is, what are the crunchy bits in figs? Have you ever tried a fig before and you've noticed there's something crunchy? What is it? Is it seeds? Is it wasps? Is it wasp eggs? Or is it sugar? Select the answer that you think is correct. 16, 15 seconds before we will reveal the answer. Awesome, the answers are coming in fast. And the people who answer correct the fastest will get the most points. And points mean metaphorical prizes in this case. So time's up. Awesome, we have a lot of very smart people here today. The answer is seeds. So there is in fact a, a rumor or an urban legend that the crunchy parts in figs are wasps, which sounds very strange indeed. But fortunately for all of us, it's only seeds. Let's move on to the next question. Get ready, check your phones, and answer fast to get the most points. So what was ketchup originally sold as? Was it moisturizer, a type of contraceptive, car polish, or medicine? What do you think? How well do you know your ketchup history? 15 seconds to go. Answers are coming in fast. Let's see how much you know about ketchup. Five seconds to go. Let's see. Awesome, yet again, we have lots of very smart people. So in fact, ketchup was originally sold as a medicine. I don't know what it would be good for uh, curing. I'm glad that it's just a condiment now. So yep, that's the answer. Ketchup as a medicine, apparently. And if you're just joining us now and want to take part in the quiz, you're not too late. Go to menti.com and use the code 788052. Let's move on. What is the red food dye cochineal made from? Is it strawberry, 
Beetles, beef, or beetroot? What do you think? So when you eat food, sometimes it's a red color. What's it made from? Answers are coming in first. 10 seconds to go. So what is the red food dye cochineal made from? The vote is closing now. Time's up. Ooh, we weren't sure on this one. So yes, in fact, cochineal, strangely enough, is made from beetles, unfortunately. So this is what it looks like. This is the little bug that they make food coloring with. So if you're a vegan, watch out. So let's move on to our next question. Remember, answer fast to get more points. So if I order a Rausch beer, what will it taste like? I mean, what is a Rausch beer to start off with? That's the real question, right? Will it taste like bacon, blue cheese, truffles, or mango? Let me know what you think. And remember, the fastest answerers correctly get the most points. Let's see, we have 10 seconds until the voting closes. So if I order a Rausch beer, what will it taste like? And the voting is closing, time's up. Ooh, mixed answers again. And yeah, in fact, this beer will taste like bacon. Yep, that's right. Rausch beer tastes like bacon. It's a type of beer with smoked malt and it gives it a very specific bacony taste, but no pigs were harmed in the production of it. So let's move on to the next one. So remember again, fastest answers get the most points. So if champagne is from France and Prosecco is from Italy, where is Espermante from? Is it from Colombia, Portugal, Brazil, or Argentina? Maybe our wine and champagne fans will know this one, but where is Espermante from? Let me know. Almost 10 seconds left on the clock. Answers are coming in fast. Let's see who's correct. And now the voting is closing. Time's up. Ooh, we have a lot of wine connoisseurs in the room. Yes, it is from Portugal. So let's swiftly move on to the next question. Keeping on the theme of wines and grapes, where does the grape variety Renek come from? Italy, Macedonia, France, or Georgia? We tested you on champagnes and sparkling wine, but now we're testing you on grapes. Do you know where this grape variety comes from? So we have 10 seconds on the clock. Get those answers in. Let's see who answers quickly and correctly. Let's see. The votes are closing. Yes, we, uh, yet again, we have a lot of people right. Yep, this is a pretty unfamiliar grape variety, but it's from Macedonia. And this is a lovely picture of Macedonia or Northern Macedonia as it is now called. Awesome, good job, everyone. If you join now, there's still a chance to join the quiz. So go to menti.com, type in 7880.52 to join and answer this question. Where does tempura originate from? Tempura is the, the batter that you fry quite often vegetables in. Is it from Japan, Korea, Portugal, or Egypt? Where do you think it's from? And we have less than 15 seconds on the clock, 10 seconds on the clock. Let's see where tempura originates from. Let's see. Ooh, so this one is a little bit of a trick question. Quite often we see tempura in Japanese food, but it actually originates from Portugal and they brought it over when they colonized Asia. And here's a nice picture of, I guess, the Portuguese giving Japanese people tempura. So let's move on to the next question. And if you're joining now, go to menti.com and use the code 788052. Which one of these dishes does not contain pasta? So we have a few different ones here. Sugo sequa, ribolita, bastoforno, spaghetti carbonara. Let's see. Some of these sound Italian, some of them sound 
Italian. So let's see how much we know about pasta and non-pasta dishes. Voting is closing soon, so get your answers in quickly. Let's see. Ooh, incorrect. Most of you got this one not correct. The correct answer is ribolita, and that is an Italian soup. So the one that you're probably thinking of the one that everyone, uh, most people answered is actually a pasta dish from Somalia. And in Somalia, they have a lot of foods containing pasta. So for a lot of you learning something new today, which is awesome. So let's move on. What is special about Kazumazu cheese? It's not a cheese. It's got ham in it. It's full of maggots or it's very moldy. So we've done wine now. We're moving on to cheese. Do you know a lot about cheese? I mean, I know a lot about cheesy songs, but not so much about cheese. Uh, that was a kind of cheesy joke. Uh, let's see. Ten seconds on the clock. And you're, if you're just joining us now, go to menti.com and use the code 788052 to join the fun. Right, let's see. Ooh, a lot of people got this one correct. Maybe everyone enjoys this cheese. It is indeed full of maggots. Gross, right? And it looks a little bit like this. You can't really see the maggots, but I believe it has a very strong flavor. So let's move on. We'll be coming to the end of who the winner is. Which part of the chili is spicy? Is it the seeds? Is it the flesh? The placenta? Or the pigmentation? So let me know what you think. Which part of the chili is spicy? 10 seconds to go. Is it the seeds, the flesh, the placenta, or the pigmentation? Which part is spicy? Voting is closing now, so get in your answers. Ooh, yeah, a lot of you think it's a seed, and this is a bit of a misconception. Normally, you're told to scrape the seeds when you want to kind of bring down the heat of a chili, but actually, it's the placenta, so that part that's kind of uh, between the seed and the chili. And when you actually scrape away the seeds, you end up scraping away the placenta as well. So, let's see who won the quiz. We have this awesome leaderboard here, and it's going to tell us who won. Taylor Swift, whoever you are. I hope it's the real Taylor Swift who is joining us. Congratulations on 8,440 points, which is a very high score. So congratulations, and thank you so much for joining us. If you've just joined us or want to stick around, I'll be running another quiz very shortly. But in the meantime, congratulations to Taylor Swift. And thank you so much for partaking in the, uh, the quiz today. Let's have a little celebration. A little hat. Woo! Good job, Taylor. So if you're just joining us or you want to stick around in a couple of minutes, uh, I'm going to start another pub quiz. So I really hope that you will stick around and join in. So congratulations again to Taylor Swift, whoever you are. Good job. So, let's have a look at our next quiz. We'll get started in just a few minutes, but while you're waiting, feel free if you're just joining us or you want to stick around for more fun and go to 2190.17. We'll get started soon, and this is how you join. Grab your phone or open up a new browser tab and go to menti.com and type in the code 219017. We'll get started in just a couple of minutes. So go to menti.com and join us on the code 219017 for the ultimate pub quiz. And I think this one. It's a bit different from the last one. I think it might be harder. So let's really see who is the smartest in the room or who has the most random knowledge. So we'll get started in a few minutes. Once you're in the presentation, let me know that you're here by hitting the heart. 
So we'll get started in a couple of minutes. Go to menti.com and use the code 219017 to join us. And this is a Menti to quiz live here in Stockholm. So super fun that you are joining us today. And we will get started just as we have a few more people coming in. We'll give them a chance to connect to the presentation. So connect to the presentation by using your phone or opening up another browser tab and going to menti.com and you use the code 219017. And I will be hosting the ultimate pub quiz. So without further ado, let's get started. And this is a quiz, so the fastest answers, the fastest correct answers that is, uh, will get the highest points. So, let's start the quiz. So, which famous Spanish surrealist painted the picture Persons of Memory? Let's see who knows their art best. 20 seconds to go. We have Salvador Dali, Pablo Picasso, Juan Miro and El Greco. A real mixed bunch here, but who painted the picture persons of memory and if you're just joining us go to menti.com type in the code 219017 to join so let's see Ooh, we have a lot of art historians in the audience clearly yes the correct answer is salvador dali so now we have a leaderboard and let's see who is leading. Love site, whoever you are. Wow, we have a lot of tight answers here. And it looks like we might have a celebrity in the room. It's Johnny from Mentimeter. Mentimeter. Are you not participating in the quiz? No, 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 I, I won the last one. Did you? Oh, oh. I, I came in 17, so it's... Uh, okay, and do you have any tips for all the participants today? I think like going really fast, that's the thing. Like you, you get like 950 points, then, then you're gonna win. Then you, have to, you have to score fast and, and correct. Awesome, so tips from Johnny, CEO at Mentimeter is answer fast. It doesn't matter if it's wrong, just answer fast. Right, thank you for your input and uh, maybe we'll see you at the end. Let's move on to the next question then. Okay, let's see. What was the name of the character played by John Travolta in the film Pulp Fiction? We have Danny Zuko, Vincent Vega, Chili Palmer, or Billy Nolan. We have a few names that I recognize here, but which is the right answer? If you're just joining us now, go to menti.com and use the code 219017 to join. And let me know, what was the name of the character played by John Travolta in the film Pulp Fiction? The votes are closing. Let's see who got it right. Okay, we have a lot of film experts in the building. Yes, it was Vincent Vega. We have a nice picture of him behind in this iconic dance scene with Uma Thurman. Awesome job. Ooh, this picture might be another hint of what this is about. Which was the first James Bond film to feature Roger Moore in the title role? Was it Die Another Day, Goldfinger, Live and Let Die, or License to Kill? A lot of the James Bonds look kind of similar, so it can be a hard one, this one. So who, which film was uh, Roger Moore's first James Bond film? Let's have a look. Five seconds to go, get the answers in. Let's see. Let's see who got it right. Okay, a real mix. Ooh, but it looks like a majority of you got it correct. It was live and let die. I can't remember what happened in that film, so I don't have any fun anecdotes. So what were the first name of the Cray twins? Cray twins were a notorious pair of twins in London. Criminals. Let's see. Let's hope we get some criminally right answers here. Thank you. I'm here all week. Let's see. We have 15 seconds to go. Let's see who knows the most about crime. We have Dylan and Cole, Ronnie and Reggie, Harry and Reggie, Frank and Ronnie. I mean, they all sound like very legitimate. Let's see. 
Okay, looks like we have a few crime fans or maybe criminals in the audience today. Yes, Ronnie and Reggie. Let's move on. Let's have a little leaderboard again. Let's see who is winning. It looks like Ainsley is in the lead right now. Nice job. Let's move on to the next question. So remember, answer first to get the most points. And that was also Johnny from Mentimeter's tip. So Boris Johnson's first name is actually Rupert. So you might have seen him on TV recently, Boris Johnson, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Is his real name Boris? Surely not. Is it actually Rupert? Maybe. Both sound kind of ridiculous. Let's see. Is it true or false? We have 10 seconds on the clock. Get the answers in. True or false? Boris Johnson's name is actually Rupert. Let's see. Well, it looks like it's false, but maybe when people are saying true, they're actually referring to the fact that his name is actually Alexander. I wonder why he picked Boris. So, okay, we have our dear friend Britney Spears in the background here. And finish the line of these Britney Spears lyrics. This one you have to type in. My loneliness is killing me. And what's the next lyrics? I think we can all relate to this lyric at the moment. But Britney said it first. Uh, my loneliness is dot. Let me know the answer. And I will have to try and correct them. And only cor completely correct answers are going to get through on this one, as we're quite a lot of people in the quiz. This one you have a minute to type in. So let me know what Britney Spears' lyrics are. And if you're just joining me, you have plenty of time to join the quiz. So use the code 219017 to join. Finish the Britney Spears lyric. This is killing me. I almost want to sing the next one. Surely we almost know this one. Let's see, less than 10 seconds to go. Let's see. We have 50 answers, 52, awesome. Let's see, time's up. I must confess, I still believe. Awesome. We can have these. Let's move on. Sam Worthington plays Jake Scully in which 2009 James Cameron film? Is it Up? Is it Avatar? Is it The Life of Pi? Is it The Clash of Titans? Maybe you've been watching a lot of films recently and maybe one of these has been on your list. Um, and which one is it? Sam Worthington plays Jake Scully in which 2009 film by James Cameron? And I, let's see. Up. Avatar, Life of Pi, or Clash of Titans? Ooh, we have a lot of people who know the answer here. Avatar, yep, that's that one in a mystical land with a lot of blue people, I'm sure you remember. Let's move on to the next question. Ooh, we have a leaderboard first. Let's see if Ainsley manages to hold their place. Let's see who is gonna lead. Connor looks like he's leading, but we have Carl Gustav, the king of Sweden, who was fastest on that. So congratulations for being so fast, Carl Gustav. Don't you have a country to run? Good job, Connor. Can you stay and lead until the end? I think we're around halfway through. If you're just joining us, go to menti.com and use the code 209017 to join the quiz. Let's move on. Which planet is closest to the sun? How many of you remember your primary school science lessons? Is it Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, or Mercury? Which one is closest to the sun? I mean, I know that Earth definitely isn't, as it was snowing today in Sweden, but which planet is closest to the sun? We have 10 seconds on the clock. Remember, the fastest correct answers win the most points. So be correct and be fast.
Mercury. Yes, the correct answer is Mercury. Looks like a lot of you were listening in your science lessons. Good job and great memories too. Let's move on to the next question. Which is the most populated city in the world? Is it Shanghai, New York, Delhi or Tokyo? All these are huge cities, but which one is the most populated city in the world? Maybe you have to remember your high school geography lessons here this time. So which is the most populated city in the world? And if you're just joining us, go to mendy.com and use the code 219017 to join the quiz. You've got around five seconds on the clock to get those answers in. I hope you're not all using Google. Let's see. Wow, okay, we have a bit of a mixture in the answers here. But in fact, yeah, Tokyo is the most populated city in the world, but I'm sure Delhi is not far behind. Let's do a little leaderboard. Looks like Connor is getting things correct. Is he gonna lead the way? Yes, he is continuing to lead. Let's see. What is the name of this song and the band? People try to put us down just because we get around. Things they do look awful cold. I think you have to type the answer on this one. So what is the name of this song and the band? People try to put us down just because we get around. Things they do look awful cold. Who is this? We have uh, around 35 seconds on the clock, so you can type it in. And if you're just joining us, you can go to menti.com and type in the code at the top of the screen here. So type in those answers. What is the name of this song and the band? People try to put us down just because we get around. Things they do look awful cold. Do you recognize this one? Lyrics are pretty hard when you're not singing them. So do you recognize this one? And if you do, what's the name of the song and who sang it? Five seconds to go before I start correcting the answers. Let's see. Time's up. Let's see. Yes, the correct answer is the who, my generation. This is correct. Uh, this is correct. This is correct. And I don't think Johnny Vast from Mentimeter is the correct one. So, oh, let's see, we have another one down here that looks correct. This one also looks correct. Joe Exotic Original. I mean, it could be, who knows? Awesome work. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. Which of the following was a cubist? Or probably who of the following is a cubist, right? Renoir, Matisse, Picasso, or Monet? Okay, first you need to know what cubism is. And we saw earlier in the quiz we have a lot of art historians out there. So let's test your knowledge. Renoir, Matisse, Picasso, or Monet? Cubist. 10 seconds to go. If you're just joining us, go to menti.com and use the code 219017. Let's see, time's up. Wow, we have a lot of art historians here today. These ones, yeah, most of you got this right. It is Picasso. I know that sometimes on a Saturday morning I feel like a Picasso painting myself. So, let's move on to the next question. In athletics, which is the last event of the decathlon? I'm sure we have many professional decathletes in the audience today. And just think back to last time you were in the Olympics. Which was the last event that you did in the decathlon? And decathlon's 10, right? And we're not talking about the uh, sports. Uh, so, what is the last event of the decathlon? I think the only decathlon I have ever participated in is like a 10 course meal. So I'm not even sure what the answer is. So I think on this one you have to type in the answer. Um, we have around 20 seconds to go, so be quick. I think we only have a few more questions in this quiz, so this is really your chance to, chance to shine. So go to menti.com if you're just joining us and use the code 219017. 10 seconds to answer this one, so type first. Let's see who knows which is the last event of the decathlon. There's 10 to choose from. Time's up. 
let's see. Yes, it is a 1500 meter run. Let's see who got it right. Yes, we have a lot of people who got it right here. Oops. Uh, running, I'll give you that. This one, run. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. I'll give you those points. Trek, eh, 1500 meters. Am I famous now? Um, maybe. Let's see. Like, correct. Oh, no, not 5000 meter. Let's see. Death, maybe. I think if I was doing it. Let's move to the next question. Oh, I wonder what this question is about. Judo. In judo, the black belt is the highest. What color is the second highest? So let's see if our decathlon friends also know about judo. The option is black, blue, green, or brown. Which is the second highest belt after the black belt? in judo maybe it's the same as karate i don't know but which is it you have around five seconds on the clock to answer let's see who knows this we have a lot of judo fans in the audience today 38 of you got it right awesome job yes the correct answer is brown so let's have a look at these uh, the uh, leaderboard. It looks like Bengyan is leading with Brown the Broken in second, and Connor, you've now dropped to third. Can you climb back to the top? Let's move on. So we have a nice, maybe French picture in the background. What is both a French wine region and a luxury American automobile? And this is the one where you have to type the answer, so no clues. So what is both a French wine region and a luxury American automobile? Let me know. And if you're just joining us, we only have a couple of questions left, but go to menti.com and use the code 219017 to join. And let me know. What is both a French wine region and a luxury American automobile? Let's see, we have around 20 seconds left on the clock. In this one, you need to type in the answer. So what is both a French wine region and a luxury American automobile? Let's see. We have around 10 seconds left. So get those fingers moving and type in your answers quickly. Let's see who knows about both cars and wine. Let's see what the answer is. Ooh, a lot of different answers here. And the answer is Cadillac. So let's see. We have a few correct answers up here. We'll, we'll go for Cadillac Motors. I'll be, I'll be kind. Cadillac, I mean, you're almost there. You're almost there. Maybe you've been on the Cadillac wine. Let's see. We'll give a few incorrect spellings. It's not an easy word to spell. Limousine. That would be a nice wine. Maybe something DJ Khaled would uh, endorse. So let's move on. We're moving into the final stretch of this quiz. Okay, maybe you recognize this character in the background. But what is the question? In which controversial musician single-handedly wrote the 1991 number one hit song, do the Bartman. So who wrote the Do the Bartman song? And apparently they're controversial. Is it Vanilla Ice, David Bowie, Michael Jackson, or Madonna? All controversial figures, but who wrote the Do the Bartman song? Maybe they were in isolation when they read it, did it as well. Who knows? Let's see. Five seconds, two seconds. Let's see who got it right. So it was Michael Jackson who actually wrote this song. So I guess you can look it up on Spotify. Let's move on. What are first names? So this one you have to type in again. And do you know this one? Names. Is it orange juice? Is it something else? I guess we'll find out. If you just join the last couple of questions and go to menti.com and use the code 219017 to join us for the last couple of questions and let me know what are OJ Simpson's first names what do the O and the J stand for 
And we have around 30 seconds to go. So type those answers as fast as you can to get points. And let's see who knows the most about O.J. Simpson. Maybe you've seen the Netflix series with him. So you know everything about him. But let's see. We're coming into the last 10 seconds of this question. Let's see. Let's see who got it right. We have a few people who got it right. Orenthiel James. I'm not going to give correct answer on incorrect spellings here because I I feel like it, it should be correct. Orange juice, I like it. That would have been my guess as well. Let's move on. Let's have a little look at the leaderboard to see who is leading. Ooh, it looks like Strawberry got a really good score on that one, but Bengan is leading and Connor's climbed up to second place. Does Connor last? And let's move on into the final stretch of this quiz. Okay, we have a chessboard, and the question isn't what is chess? How many black squares are there on a chessboard? 32, 30, 28, 34. I guess if you count the pieces and do the math, maybe you can work it out. But how many black squares are there on this board? 32, 30, 28, or 34. And you have 10 more seconds to answer this. Let's see who is an avid chess player. We had a lot of art historians and food today, but let's see who knows about chess. Awesome, chess fans out there. The correct answer, yes, is 32. Let's see. And now we are on the final leaderboard and let's see if Connor can take his place into first or will Bang Yan still lead? It looks very tight. But even though Connor was the fastest, it looks like Bang Yan the Tiger has won with 12,375 points. Super good job, Bang Yan. Let's have a little celebratory disco party. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining today. And if you really want to try out Mentimeter, you can do these quizzes yourself for free. Oh, my hat's falling off. You can go to mentimeter.com slash sign up and just create your free account and you can create your own quizzes. And if you want to get this template and many, many other templates, go to mentimeter.com slash templates and check out all of our quizzes that are free for you to use. So thank you so much again for joining us today. And congratulations to Bingham, the Tiger, for winning with 12,375 points. Um, we won't be doing any more quizzes this evening, but if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, we will let you know whenever we have live streams. And I think we should be doing some awesome quizzes again in the future. So again, congratulations to Taylor Swift who won the first quiz and Bingham who won the, the second quiz. And thank you so much for partaking today and we hope that we will see you again soon. So thank you very much and have a great weekend.